played the fool before. I was your fool. I believed in you. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. But your lies ain't working now. Now, look who's hurting now. See, I had to shut you down. I had to shut you down. Played the fool before. Okay, we heard it all before. Sunshine Anderson heard it all before. Um, if y'all have not heard that song, go check it out. Uh, that song came out in 2001 by Sunshine Anderson. And that was pretty much a um, anthem for the women out there who have heard all the lies and all the excuses and all the bullshit that their men, their boyfriends, their husbands, their partners would come up to them with after they had been out doing God knows what with God knows who um, at any time of the day. So pretty much the women were just fed up and uh, done with all the lies. Right. <laughs> Y'all saw that car fall out. Trust. Obviously there was no trust. But and. That's so fucking crazy. This is the fool card. This is an entirely different deck, but it pretty much resonates with the tarot. You see that zero up there? So that's fool um, and not being a fool. Somebody said, we've been the fool before. We're tired of being playing your fool right now as if we don't know what's going on. So that song not only resonates with the women, it can resonate with men as well too who might be tired of playing the fool with uh, their woman, okay? All right, all right, could resonate a woman who's tired of playing the fool with her woman or it could resonate with a man who's tired of playing the fool with his man, okay? You all put that energy where it goes. So someone is done being the fool and I feel as if they are done believing and trusting as she said before um, I believed in you yes I did yes I did so instead of believing in this person someone is now believing in themselves and really taking a chance on themselves okay that's the best bet that's probably the safest bet as well to um, dealing with some of these trifling ass people out here but um anyway uh, before we get into all that, thank you all again for joining me for another night of your uh, general reading. So I pray you all are doing well, staying safe, and uh, being a fool for yourselves and not a fool for anybody else. Um, if you like this video, please, I'm going to take them since they all fell out. Please hit that thumbs up button, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And um, <clears throat> what was I going to say? Yeah, <laughs> I greatly appreciate it, okay? Um, as you already know, this is the channel where I give it to you straight, no chaser, but with compassion. But if there are some things in this message that I say that do not resonate with you, that you don't like, that you don't agree with, put those messages on the floor, leave them at the door. Someone else will come along and pick them up, I promise and guarantee you. Uh... If you want to book a personal reading with me, my information is down below in the description box. Please follow me on social media and follow me on TikTok, Quentin Wilson 944 So, dedicated effort. Yeah, um, y'all were putting in the effort. You have been putting in the effort. You have been putting in that work or you were putting in that work. But look, seems as if someone's up there putting in that work alone by themselves. Success and growth. So... Wanted to move this thing along quickly and wanting to um, work on your communication to grow your relationship or even just your efforts to grow the relationship. But you know what? Now you're changing that focus. How about that? Um, changing the focus right there and you're refocusing on you. So can't. Um, I'm glad I took those cards right there. So <laughs> it's so crazy. But anyway... Um, this is pretty much not crying over spilled milk with this change of focus. It's just looking in a new direction instead of looking um, at this relationship or looking at whatever this whatever this was in your life. It does not only have to be with a romance. It can be with uh, family, friends, people who are unreliable in that sector with you. You're always, you're the one, put, whoever this is or whatever the relationship is, you're the one who's um, putting in the work to do something, but your efforts are not being met halfway or they weren't being met halfway. It's so interesting, even just now looking at this, these cars, these uh, people have their backs to each other. So someone has definitely turned their back to um, some situation here in their life. So let's go ahead and get into it. Exactly. Um, Page of Pentacles comes out in the reverse. So there could have been a bit of immaturity in this relationship. Um, does not matter what the age, um, what the ages are. 
Um, age does not always determine a maturity level right there. But somebody was pretty much dropping the ball uh, with this relationship here. And I feel as if someone just got tired of it. Um, it may not have advanced in the way in which you wanted it to. So therefore, you just snatched your energy back um, right here. Exactly. Ace of Pentacles. So maybe at one time you could see some worth or see some value in this uh, relationship. But eventually, um, you just had to take all of that back. Because I feel as if you were trying to offer a lot or offer something to someone um, because the pentacles represent stability here. So this could have been something that could have been stable, but no one will ever know now because you were the one putting in the um, effort and you were the one putting in the work for it. So I feel as if this played a part in um, possibly affecting your own health. And affecting your self-esteem, your um, value, also your money as well, too. Maybe you were investing a lot of money into this relationship, whether this is, um, you know, again, whatever the relationship is, um, you were giving money or you were giving time, you were giving effort, you were giving resources, your health, whatever it was. You were giving, 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 but you were not receiving um, anything in return. Your, um, it's like your investment did not pay off right here. So, Knight of Wands, the Knight Rider energy comes out. So, he comes out in the reverse. <laughs> so, I feel as if this stops someone in their tracks, though. Ooh, my finger, like, itches. I mean, because I shuffle these cards all the time, um, as you always see on here. But I just like, I want the energy to constantly change. So I don't want um, the same cards to come out. But um, this has, this I feel as if this definitely stopped someone in their tracks. Maybe they weren't expecting this because that Knight Rider energy, that Knight of Wands energy, that is someone who's looking for um, the next best thing. They're looking for action. They're looking for passion. They're looking for um, someone to satisfy their urges here. So someone here was uh, getting other people to satisfy their urges, whatever those urges are. Okay, again, does not always have to be sexual, but Knight of Wands is a very sexual energy. So if this is a relationship, then you already know what I'm saying here because they were putting in the work and putting in the effort for other people. But everything that you were doing, you know, it was all you weren't getting a return on what you were investing in or what you thought you were investing in. So another song started playing in my head. Um, Trina and Monica. I want it all. I went looking through your phone when I shouldn't have And I found just what I was looking for A new number says it's Kelly Should I call it or should I just ignore it? Oh, okay. So yeah, somebody was um looking for something and they found it. So if someone was looking through your phone or you were looking through someone's phone or something, um, you were seeing other things that were going on, you know, with this person and what they had. I knew this card was going to come out. Here we go with the fool card. So comes out in the reverse. Um, Pretty much right here. You may have been, even though you saw this or you saw something, um, or you suspected something and maybe you even just knew what this person was doing or what they were up to, um, you might have still played dumb in a way. I feel as if somebody was playing dumb or maybe just acting as if they didn't know uh, what was going on. But as I said, something definitely slowed someone down in their tracks. Huh. It slowed them down in the tracks and it it made someone afraid to, you know, uh, really trust themselves. So someone could have been making someone feel insecure about themselves as well, too, is what I'm getting. Yeah, with the star card coming out in the reverse, because someone was uh, get, maybe getting some attention or maybe... Um, Uh, 
restoring or working on themselves, but coming out in the reverse, as I said, this is someone who did not want the other person to get any shine in some way. Or maybe they were just jealous of the shine that they were getting. Someone had to dim their light too. So as I said, you could have been dimming your light and selling yourself short by whatever you were investing in uh, with this relationship or however it goes. Maybe just seeing the best in someone and this is why it took maybe a while to let go of this. Um, as I said, you wanted some kind of return on your investment. That's why I was singing that Monica and Trina song. I gave you all my love and got nothing in return. So now I want it all. I want it. They want, so someone says, you know, and this could be a divorce, you know, even. If someone was uh, married here. So if we get that justice card or that hierophant card that pops out, then yes, this is some kind of a legal partnership or legal marriage. But someone gave someone their all. But what they gave, they were not receiving back or they didn't get back. And so now they want to um, they want to recoup that. The moon card, secrets, um, things beneath the surface or keeping things beneath the surface. Someone's keeping something very surface level. I will say that. Someone was keeping something surface level, possibly this relationship, um, maybe even other relationships here. Devil card. <laughs> so there was uh, some toxicity that was going on, maybe even codependent relationships. But as I said, someone was afraid. Someone was afraid of someone's shine. Um, you know, keeping, maybe even keeping them suppressed or suppressing them in some way because they didn't want to be outshined right here. So it, they were kind of keeping them trapped in this uh, relationship in a way, maybe putting fear tactics or guilt tactics onto them. But um, while they were doing this, they were possibly with other people, you know, as well too. It was like mind games going on here. That's interesting. Five of Cups. That's pretty much that change of focus uh, card right here. <laughs> so yeah, it was keeping someone in some kind of uh, deep regret. And it may have made them feel as if they needed to uh, succumb to this relationship. So even though they could see the mess and the turmoil that was going on, Maybe they did not uh, feel that they were worthy enough um, of other opportunities or other relationships that were behind them. Because with this Five of Cups, this is someone who's very regretful and they're sorry about the things that have spilled over. But if they turn around, they have um, other things and other opportunities that could be better for them. So... Let's see, but I feel as if somebody has uh, definitely released themselves, though, with this trust uh, card, because this is all about stepping out on faith. This is stepping out on faith when the star card is losing faith. So someone was losing faith um, in this relationship as well, too. Five of... Oh. My left ear was ringing. <laughs> All right. So I know what I'm about to say or whatever I said, this confirmation right there. So that's five of uh, wands comes out in the reverse. Um, someone possibly letting their friends talk them into something as well too. You know, so say if this was, um, you know, a romantic relationship and if it was a man, then his homeboys, you know, he was letting them get in his ear about some things, possibly about uh, just staying within this devilment, <coughs> other relationships and maybe just things on the side. But he regrets that now because he wasn't looking at um, what was in front of him. He wasn't paying. He wasn't paying attention to what was in front of him. 
If it's a woman, same thing. She could have been um, letting her homegirls hype her up in some way. And they were just keeping up. People were keeping up some mess and keeping up drama as well, too. Uh, King of Swords. Forgive me, you all. My um, If you've been following me this week, you know that I have this silly ass, stupid ass cold. Um, <laughs> my allergies. So that's about as far as it's gone. Just a little bit of a cough, but then... Um, congestion and also because here in San Diego one day is 80 something degrees and at night time is uh, 60 or 50 something and then the weather is just constantly changing right here so also I was around someone who um, was getting over a cold so that could have been a factor as well but okay someone would put someone in their place with this king of swords and this five of wands Whoever these people were, they now listen. They let them um, talk them into things or they let them influence them in some way. Maybe just not being, um, and maybe because whoever they were with or the group of people, they weren't even dedicated to their own relationships or whoever it was that they were with. So, Birds of a feather were kind of flocking together right here. But I feel as if eventually this person did say something and stand up to them. Because the King of Swords is all about uh, just getting down to the truth and clarity and really speaking their truth and clarity as well too. And really just standing up for themselves. And as I said taking a stance and being more assertive with the way in which they deliver their words and deliver their communication um, right here. What is this secret though? You know, let's be a bit nosy. What, is, what was this secret? Sex. As I said, Ace of Wands right here. Um, Maybe even some things that were going on in the sexual way <laughs> and when I say the sexual way you know the consequences of um you know sex especially if there are multiple partners here so maybe someone was dealing with that and maybe this is what they regret as well too but they regret their actions um here or at least regret the um regret the results of their actions so nine of pentacles in the reverse Codependency, again, there was someone here maybe who was just very, in, who engaged, like I said, in very codependent relationships. They had a hard time really standing on their own. Therefore, they were just looking for love in all the wrong places or so. Now we have a pair right here with the king and queen of swords, and she lands right on top of the king of swords. So... This could have been a regret of, of theirs as well, too. Um, <laughs> damn, what was the line of that song? Coming home late, it seems you barely beat the sun. Tapping my shoulder, thinking you gonna get you some. Smelling like some fragrance that I don't even wear. Well, if you want some loving, I suggest you go back there. Okay, so somebody said, somebody said, well, okay, if you're going to stay out all night or if that's where you've been all night, then, you know, don't come home or don't come over here thinking you're getting some from me. Go back to where you came from over here. Go back to, um, that other place or that other house or wherever you were with this queen of swords as i said there was definitely a couple here and someone was just very ruthless and maybe even a bit reckless with their communication um right here but they weren't really having it and i think they kind of took the gloves off right here um someone may have been yeah with this queen of swords they, someone might have been giving in a lot. 
someone may have been giving in a lot. You know, this person, whoever this was, maybe could coerce them into, um, you know, maybe sweet talk them or something, you know, in that way. But finally, uh, enough was enough and someone had had enough of this. Third party situations, three of cups comes out in the reverse. So as I said, there was some um, other people involved right here. Third party situations do not always have to be romance or sexual partners, but more than likely this was as people had multiple sexual partners right here, but this can also involve um, uh, anything or anyone who is interfering in this relationship. So it could have been family members, it could have been friends, these same people who were influencing um, others. Uh, it could have been a job or it could have been someone's lack of a job or lack of finances as well too because we do have this Ace of Pentacles that comes out which I said um, talks about self-worth and value. So maybe someone didn't even feel worthy enough or valuable enough um, like their self-esteem was low. Therefore, it was very easy for them to um, be influenced by this toxic behavior. Um, maybe this is why they did not put in the effort, you know, with you as well, too. So, Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. I mean, uh, Ten of, well, Ten of Cups, but... You know, Ten of Pentacles, I called it for a reason. Ten of Pentacles could be, um, you know, happy home situation with just with stability and money. Ten of Cups is same energy, you know, with a happy home, but it's more on that emotional sector. So, you know, um, this I feel as if this did wreck someone's home right here, or this has some kind of effect on someone's domestic life. Four of Swords comes out in the reverse. So very restless energy and very unhealed, especially with the Star card coming out in the reverse too, because as I said, that is restoration and healing. Four of Swords, there have been uh, disappointments, there's been hurt, there's been anger. And after all of that's done, then we go into this healing mode. But someone, I feel they weren't taking the proper time to uh, heal themselves and they weren't taking the proper time to um, really, really see this matter for what it was. Yeah, Ace of Cups comes out in the reverse as well. All right, and now here we go. The Five of Swords can't even stay in the deck tonight. Um, it came out in the first reading for Five of Swords and now we have the Nine of Wands. So yeah, someone, geez, as I um, started talking in this video, my uh, allergies, my sinuses, this cold became worse. But anyway, someone um, here, there was like that tit for tat, get you back, that I always say with this five of swords energy. So there was some manipulation, some jealousy right here. Again, I did say that someone was jealous of attention that someone may have been getting, but now it's like with this nine of wands, it's that victim mentality, you know, in a way, uh, because the walls are up. So I feel as if this is someone, um, someone was tired of being the victim here. Someone was tired of being the victim or tired of someone putting them in that victimhood, putting them in that victim mentality. Ugh, I sound horrible on camera. I can just hear my uh, voice. I sound so nasally. <laughs> but anyway, we're almost done uh, with this reading, but Ace of Cups here um, is poured down the drain. So Pouring, pouring the emotion, pouring the love down the drain. This may have caused someone to want to get revenge in some way as well too. And maybe they put the guard up or maybe they put these walls up around themselves. 
But let's see what else ebb and flow. So we get the ocean. So water here. This is water energy. Um, the ebb and flow of the tide uh, right here. What else? Release. Yeah, someone definitely has released something, you know. Uh, it's interesting because we get this moon card and... Now we get the ocean and the moon pretty much controls the um, the waves, you know, it controls the the tides. Okay, it wanted to come out. Crystals, focus. And then we have celebration, dance. So I feel as if this is saying someone is definitely, they had to kind of roll with the punches here. Um, maybe even with this four of swords that comes out because I was picking up an energy of someone doing a lot of back and forth um, maybe just not wanting to release this situation fully even though they knew that it was something that they had to do so it was like an ebb and a flow um, you know right here maybe they were working against themselves or working against the ties but eventually get into a place of releasing this and releasing that energy regaining their focus because we do have change of focus up here as well too and now that they've done that now it's an energy of celebrating and just dancing so you know just really getting back in tune and getting back in touch with themselves and really doing what it is that makes them happy rather than uh living in sorrow and regret right here so anyway all right i powered through that um without really breathing, <laughs> except breathing through my um, my mouth, I guess, but that's annoying. Anyway, thank you all for uh, putting up with my mess, putting up with my nasally voice, and just listening to this reading, okay? So, thank you all. Uh, follow me on TikTok, Quentin Wilson 944 Like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Hit that thumbs up button. I greatly appreciate it. And um, that's pretty much it. So join me for the next reading if you feel so inclined. And um, I will talk to you later. Bye.